Hi, I'm Brooke, and today I'm gonna make a clock out of gummy bears. First thing I'm gonna do is cast my gummy bears into this art resin. And I have this nice little round pink mold here that I'm gonna use as the base. Um, and I'm actually just gonna plop the gummy bears right in there pretty randomly. I think that that's gonna look the best. Now I'm gonna mix up some epoxy. And it's just equal parts of the resin and the hardener. Uh, stirred for three minutes to make sure it's completely combined so that there's no soft spots when it finishes settling. It has now been three minutes and this is nice and combined. So I'm gonna pour this over my gummies and then I'm gonna give it a little stir just to make sure that the bottom of the gummies are coated too. Um, so everything will be completely in the resin. So I gave this a second to sit and that will allow the air bubbles to rise to the surface and I'm just gonna hit it with this torch to pop those bubbles. Okay, I think that that seemed pretty effective. It's been 24 hours and it's time to unmold this now. And now I'm just designing a file in Adobe Illustrator to cut a ring of this plywood to fit this um, piece of resin perfectly. And it's going to become an outer ring on the clock that the numbers are going to sit on. Awesome, and full disclosure, this did take me more than one try to get it to fit perfectly right because I, I didn't measure exactly right the first time. Um, but, point is it fits now. Um, and I really like how it's... This is going really well. Alright, so the next step is to do the design for the numbers that I am going to cut. I'm thinking in black acrylic, in a thick black acrylic, uh, to put on the outer perimeter so that this clock actually can tell time. So I wound up with an extra ring because I cut it too small, um, but as I'm looking at this and thinking, if I put this over the ring that's the right size, it makes a cool border, and so I actually think I'm going to keep it and wind up working with it for the finished product because I like the look of it. And then my gummy bears just right in the middle. At this point, all the components are made, so it's time for the final assembly of the clock. The first step is going to be to drill a hole in the exact center of my resin circle, and this is a really easy trick to find the exact center of a circular shape. I then took it over to my drill press and drilled right on through it and uh, learned that gummy bears make drill presses very sticky. I'm now gonna glue my rings together and to do this, I'm using a combination of both wood glue and CA glue with the thought being that the CA glue dries almost instantly and that will serve as a clamp to hold the wood glue together while that dries more slowly. The spray activates the CA glue and it bonds almost instantly. 
I actually wound up cutting a third circle on the laser cutter and this one had a smaller diameter on the inside circle and this one stacks on the very bottom to create a ledge for the resin block to sit on. To adhere the resin, I'm mixing up a five minute two-part epoxy and I'm heavily coating the ledge with this epoxy and placing my gummy bears and adding weight to this to clamp it down while it hardens. I'm using walnut oil as the final finish on the plywood. Usually I wouldn't oil something before then gluing something else on top of it, in this case the numbers. However, because it's a decorative piece and not something that's gonna be taking a lot of wear and tear, I think it will be just fine. I'm using that same two-part five-minute epoxy to glue down the numbers. It's important to get these in the right spot, so I started by positioning the 12, the 6, the 3, and the 9 90 degrees away from one another and then filled the rest of the numbers in. I then slid my clock onto the clock motor and installed my hands. I'm happy with this as the finished product and I think I could be finished here if I wanted to be, but I think I'm gonna take this project to the next step and put LED lights inside it. So stay tuned for a video on that too. And if you like this video, subscribe because I'm gonna be putting out more content like this.